Hey, there we're Chad Glasenberry. Today, the Caulfield uh, Awards Banquet. And uh, yeah, I know it's been a while since you've had this. How excited are you to get it back on uh, up and rolling? I'm really excited. I mean, I, you know, everything has just been so strange in the world. And uh, we're finally getting back into a little bit of normal. And to be able to be here, um, have these kids coming in, they're starting to roll in now, just, just makes me happy. I mean, it's all about student recognition. That's what we're all about. Uh, Culpey will undergo some uh, a change, I guess, in leadership, yeah. for lack of a better word. Uh, are you excited to see what the new folks bring? I know that you kind of were thrown into the mix here <laughs> yeah. and kept it going through COVID, which sure. uh, definitely kudos for that. Well, but, I appreciate uh, it. I, I, it was one of those things I, I took on. Um, you know, Rick Bass did a great job with it for a number of years, and then I sort of took it on to try to help out a little bit and just kind of keep it going. And then, of course, COVID hit, which was was what it was for everybody. But um, we got some folks now. Greg Fournette, been a long time official in the area. Um, he knows everybody. Um, he's going to step in and take a more active role. I'm going to stay on uh, on on the board. We're going to actually have a board that will be in place, and I'll be a board member for one year. But I'm always a phone call away from Greg, and um, they're going to take it over. they got some different ideas. Uh, Kickstarter, we're going to have a, a little media kickoff. Uh, we'll kind of be the, best, the first big thing that will happen probably in August. Um, we'll kind of have a media kickoff like conferences do in college. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, how important is it for you to have this and have these kids uh, recognized and try to get the Coldfield name back after sure. after COVID? Basically, you know, everything was hurt somewhere. How yeah. important is it to get, get them out, even at, at a tough time like graduations have already yeah. happened? At, I, I just think student recognition is so important from a school level, from an athletic standpoint, from raising your own kids, you know, to recognize them, what they're doing. Um, you know, I got three kids of my own, and, and the baby uh, just likes attention at the moment. He's only nine months. But just that recognition for, hey, acknowledging what they've done is so important. So for these kids, you know, we got some fantastic kids that are here being represented in this conference. I mean, we got D1 athletes that are coming in here today. We've got Players of the Year. we got Kennedy winners. I mean, we've got we've – got, everything that is a who's who of uh, athletic recognition in the state right here in this conference. Anything you're more fired up to see today than another maybe? I know you've got some family members to be honored. Uh, I, got, I, I do. You got uh, the Kennedy Award winner. Like you said, we now. do. We do. You know, you got the Kennedy Award winner. That's nothing to shake your head at, man. That's um, that's big time. And so to have Atticus here um, and just to have the family Brian Hagen and all of this done, and that's one of the things that Greg has brought on, um, honoring the memory of Brian Hagen um, and having his family be here and to present uh, – impact athletes of the year to the males and females. I just think that's a great thing. Uh, my cousin Abby from Wyoming East will be here. Um, I've sort of drifted away from down there. I've been in Oak Hill so long. I'm, I'm, I'm more thought of of being over here, but uh, to get to see some family members, it's, an, it's a good experience. That's probably, uh, you know, the way that rivalry used to be. You probably have to wear a helmet when you <laughs> go back home. Or... I, we don't drift too far down there anymore. We go in, we see mom and dad at the top end of miles, but it's uh, it's funny, man. So many people that I grew up with and played ball with or, you know, coaching the youth leagues and coming back in, Kent and Rory or, you know, sort of spearheading the revival of the youth leagues and, and Mullins. So it's good to see. It's it's always good to see those folks. And I mean, they're, they're all family at the end of the day. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Dave. Right.